We have Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, Mount Mark Calatari, Executive Director. Calitri. Calitri, I'm it's sorry. Calitri. It's Italian. What the heck? Thank you, Commissioner Hubel. <laughs> I'll just be very brief and just give you a quick update, but I did want to thank uh, both commissioners present here because I don't think a lot of the, the uh, general public realizes how much goes on behind the scenes uh, to bring in events and uh, how much you guys are actively involved in welcoming these groups and sending letters and uh, helping advise us. So thank you for that extra effort. Thank you. Um, just a few quick things. Uh, we're, we're trying to increase our social media presence. We've hired a company that specializes in that, and so basically they will hit uh, content marketing for ba the basic uh, mainstays is TripAdvisor and Facebook and Twitter and Google+, Plus. but they also have 200 extra channels. So the more content we put out, when folks are hitting that search engines for things to do, uh, it'll create, uh, create more demand for our hotels. We also have a booking engine on our website that uh, we get paid a slight commission for uh, guests that will book through that. So if more people we drive to our website, they have an opportunity to book a discounted room right there. So I'm excited about that. Uh, basically, two of the other big things that we're looking at is uh, the Club Nationals this summer with U.S. Rowing. That's in July. Uh, got our committees in force. We've got uh, a regatta director right now. We're doing some fundraising and meeting with volunteers. Uh, that'll be the first night of that event will be the All-Star Game, July 14th, and that'll be a five-day event. That's one of the largest rowing regattas in the country. Yeah, typically the regattas are two days. This one is five days, and um, a lot hinges on this because most of the college teams will be here. Uh, U.S. Rowing is the premier organization, so if we can pull off a successful event this summer, uh, we've got at least four other events, including bringing this club nationals back next year, so that's really important. One of the interesting things, I mentioned it to Commissioner Humphrey beforehand, but there's a lot of other venues in the country that have bid for this, including Sarasota, and how much do they invest in their? Sarasota's put over $40 million in their facility. $40 million and, and Harsha Lake beat them out. We beat them out. Nature does amazing things. Yep. Harsha Lake is, is, a, is what I understand, a perfect lake for rowing events because of uh, its blocking of the wind and, uh, and the direction it goes and all of that is just uh, nature created it's so marvelous it's 2,000 meters too. I guess nature in a dam but okay <laughs> mark what's the economic impact for that one event that five day that one event is going to approach almost two million dollars having several thousand people here for five days and these are more affluent folks that are going to going to go to the restaurants they're going to go downtown they're going to go to the movies they're going to use all of our facilities here so that's a pretty big impact for five days great one of the other keys you brought up a good point is the um, the facilities they have down there and then in their marketing material they have twenty dollars worth of uh, printed materials that they're using to sell and you know as I've started thinking about that a lot it's uh, we've trying to get good volunteers and good community help for this event and actually I think the biggest benefit we have over these other venues is all they have to sell is their venue we have really good people here that are helping to step up and volunteer and drive our wakeless boats and help to put this on. So I think that's one thing that's separating Claremont County. What has the CBB recently invested out at Harsha Lake? Currently we have uh, on order eight top-end wakeless launches that are required to put on the events. So we have that coming in. Uh, one of the so other are these purchase or lease? or These are a purchase. Okay lifespan of about 20 years on the because they're not going to be for everyday use um, some of these boats valued start values at 20,000 the, uh, the the the, the uh, skulls that the kids are rowing, rowing in are 20,000 upwards of eighty thousand dollars and one of the things that we saw at some of the other venues is they're setting these things on the ground so we've uh, we've have kept having constructed some what's called boat trees a frame boat trees that'll house three of these units so uh, having these $80,000 boats off the ground and on a, on a secure platform really is a benefit. Uh, the beach house is set to be complete on May, uh, March, uh, May 1st. So That's we're really... DNR project. DNR project. This. Yep. 
ODNR is going to do some uh, road work into the boathouse as well and also some spectator viewing area. So ODNR has really stepped up with the county to. So we're a million dollar investment. Yeah. It's going to be very, very nice. So it's going to be a nice addition to what we have. So we are uh, improving what uh, the facilities that we're offering. Very good. So we will be asking uh, the citizens and the commissioners too to come out and drive a wakeless launch and into boating. Off the air horn. I have a sailboat, so I'm into boating. You're actually, you're uh, selling sponsorships to those boats that you've already done one or two. We have several, uh, several sponsors already signed on, and then uh, we're going to be talking to American Modern here in just a few moments. So um, we have eight nice corporate sponsorships available, and it'll be running up and down that lake all day long. So Lycans. pretty valuable. Lycans? Lycans has uh, been one of our first, uh, still working with Sporties and uh, working with Mercy Health right now. So good broad range. Good. Uh, the next thing is uh, soccer. We have uh, contracts signed, still have some fine tuning to do, some details to iron out, but the, uh, we've reached an agreement with King's Hammer, Elite Soccer Group, and the Red Barn facility uh, to develop 10 soccer fields uh, right here in the, the village of Batavia. And Part of the deal with that is uh, King's Hammer's guaranteed 16 major events starting in 2016. So you're looking at uh, upwards of 90,000 people coming through here annually and uh, 10 to 13,000 room nights every year. So you're looking at $28 million of economic impact over five years. So it's an extreme, extreme benefit to our county. Very good. That's all I've got. My well, plate's full. We appreciate the, uh, the work the CVB does for Claremont County and for our residents. And Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you.